Welcome to the Pixel Berry Choices podcast and today we're going to be talking about Crimes of Passion chapter 5 and things are getting heated up. So I did say in my last video that last chapter wasn't you know full of mystery like with how you know veil of secrets or um unexpected ears f- those books how those books had a flow. The last chapter didn't really convey that but wow this chapter i mean all i have to say is wow so where we ended up in the last chapter was olivia from the raw romance book coming in and you know basically putting a knife behind your back and saying that we are their cousin and seems like there's some beef between this supposed cousin and olivia so then they put the knife away and tell us that Olivia wants to talk with us in private and we try to look for Tristan but Olivia's men are with Tristan at the moment and they're going to keep Tristan busy so meanwhile it's time for us to talk so we go outside from all the hustle and bustle of the party to talk with Olivia so we can clear the misconception that we sort of got a secret identity and even when we'll be talking on our earpiece with look and Ruby she will understand that we are an undercover agent who is faking their identity and we have taken the name of a cousin of Olivia so that was a really poor job from Tristan she didn't or he they didn't really check the guest list there so we will have the option to say like how we can relate Olivia with Marguerite Tristan's sister remember the hairpin and some business marguerite had with uh, this someone with a uh, red hairpin on their head so we can up our detective score that way and then olivia won't be as angry as before even she will take an interest on us curiosity you can say so we will talk and we will say that we are investigating a murder and she would be quite fast to catch up on that and she will ask con- to confirm that if it's Sonja Dormer so we have this conversation and meanwhile we'll have a diamond scene to spend some time with Olivia and we can catch up with her and know more about Tristan like what she knows about the murder of Tristan's fiance back then the person who was supposed to be Tristan's um life partner and how Tristan got framed. So in this diamond scene, one side note here, um I haven't played the Royal Romance franchise, but a lot of people who played Royal Romance and wanted uh, Olivia as a love interest they didn't get that. So I think Choices really did this here because you also have an option at the end when uh so basically what happens in this diamond scene, the Olivia will tell you that how Tristan got framed and what she thinks if Tristan could do this or not and the person who was killed that girl she didn't really deserve that as Olivia says quote she was many things but she didn't deserve this end quote so we also understand that how they don't trust the Dracovian media in her uh, duchy or in her in, in uh, Cordonia they tried to look into that case they tried to help it but Dracovia they didn't take any help and even the local police they were not supposed to investigate on that help came from you know upper crust and everything just got sorted out in a second only one victim so someone tried to point all the fingers in the dire- framed tristan pointed all the fingers in her direction or his direction and expelled tristan so definitely it was a cover and as i was saying about choices so this is pretty interesting thing they did there so now she says she tries to tease us that why are we collecting all this personal information on Tristan so we can either say we she is interesting or he is interest Tristan's interesting or we can say i have more interest in you as you as in Olivia so i think choices really did that i mean you can just have that conversation nothing more because it's a single love interest book but you know giving the fans something and if i remember correctly they did the same thing with the robin sprite a lot of pe- people wanted to have something with robin in um 
in the nanny affair and the female robin sprite was back as lena rays in um crime um laws of attraction so here we go so that makes me think that maybe a lot of characters that people wanted to have something with like um esme or kyra from open heart maybe they can be back somewhere choices can do something with them so look forward to it i will say i'm looking forward to it because that was a very really nice touch and then the cv or sd card i think that was supposed to be given to margaret by this source which is olivia coincidentally so we get that and then we see tristan coming so tristan has already taken care of the man who was sent by Olivia and Tristan clearly doesn't trust Olivia and is afraid that she could have done something with us and we say that no we are safe so Tristan is clearly surprised that Olivia knows our name and you know we have kind of not gotten ourselves in any kind of trouble so Tristan definitely seems surprised by that and then we see some exchange between Tristan and Olivia that makes us feel like Tristan and Olivia basically Tristan doesn't trust Olivia that much but then we also see that she was asking about the SD card but that was already acquired by us so yeah Tristan was really surprised and then we give the SD card to Tristan Olivia leaves and now we're back to our mission so that note we got someone told us to wait in the Rockefeller room so we go inside to search that so the Rockefeller room we find uh, inside the mansion and it was pretty big and that was kind of a library so we go inside and we see that there is still some time but we try to think that why someone who gave us this note would call us here like maybe there's some clue there so we can snoop in with Tristan and we will find a lot of books so we will put our detective skills up to taste so I will personally do this that I will go up the book with serial numbers and so we can eliminate a lot of books and we'll be end up with we'll end up with four books so i chose the one with the sign drawn on the book cover so we will learn about the gall you know that the hunter that kills all of the mythology occult and you know ominous things so all this killing you know and how the whole cult is operating so all the cult related books so this gave us some kind of entail like how this could work out and that information was really interesting so someone is trying to create a mythology so they're transforming that mythology in about a hunter some god or goddess of a you know who hunt people so that is being recreated here that's what i understood from that clue so we acquire that information so that was ominous thing and i think the mystery is now really deepening so if like and specifically what we see afterwards i don't know like is it going to relate to anything supernatural because i don't believe so but the way you know the cult is working here and all these you know mythology connection the gaul you know remember we also learned about that ruby told us about all those things back in chapter 3 i guess so this is getting pretty pretty ominous here but then the diamond scene is over and we see that the time is up but no one's coming so we get out and we see that the note is missing from Tristan's back so something's wrong something's not right so again we can put our detective skills up to task and i chose that someone might have switched the room names and that was true so the room beside the room we were in was the room where stuff happened so there were some sounds coming from inside and we will ask Tristan to pick the lock up and when she picks the lock we'll go inside and we'll see there's another art scene another dead body and this time it's Bethany the one who was hooking up with the mayor and was looking emotionally wrecked person then happy person after some time so who was the most suspicious girl there and she's dead and there's a pool of blood behind her chest and she was like but with face down she was lying on the floor she was lying dead on the floor i should say and there was a killer with that mask on the mask that we saw in chapter 1 when sanjo was being killed and i thought we will get them but no they run out and we 
chased them and they sort of were muttering things like give me power you're not supposed to see i'm the chosen one so there's a lot at stake here then they go to the main party where everything was going on and then they push people and ruth thought that they were from the drama people like who were supposed to put up uh, put up a show there but then we call on backup ruby and luke so they come to guard the doors and we flank the guy uh i think it's a guy no 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 they actually don't say he or she they um say like they so we don't know their gender yet i feel like so we flank them from either side and they had nowhere to go and we finally thought we would get them but then they go into the bar and they light up the whole place so they just uh, put the whole place on fire so there is fire everybody is leaving and then we still follow them and now we are alone and they go to the kitchen we go there we finally capture them but they mutter something give me power i'm the chosen one or something and they suddenly got inhuman strength and they just bang our head against the wall and our head spins and they take the opportunity and they run away we go after them but to no avail they have left so that was an amazing thing now do i think it has something to do with the supernatural stuff that happening cuz i don't know let me know in the comments what do you guys think because you know i think in a crime book we haven't seen supernatural stuff so but the how the guy or girl whoever the, the person the murderer you know the selent how they got the power all of a sudden this was quite interesting i don't know in which direction this is going but we were so close to catching the murderer but they're gone then we're outside the tristan tristan asks us if we are okay or not and they were also worried that the killer will run away and exactly that's what happened so now what we learned that nick the murder mystery writer he went inside so we tried to go inside to get the get the evidences but tristan first stopped us but when they heard that nick is inside they just run inside and they tell us to stay outside and we can in this diamond scene look after go inside to look after tristan and collect some important evidences so we run inside after tristan tristan was angry what we were going inside and we see like the whole place was on fire and you know chunk of debris was falling down you know pillars are falling down girding our path but we still make it to the so we call first nick and he says that he's in the library room so we don't know what was he doing inside and when we go inside the room so it was the same room where we were first sent by mistake and he was sort of under the bookshelf and we sort of free him but then tristan tells us that they will do all the job they will take care of them um nick but we should go to the next room and collect some evidence so we'll go inside the next room where the murder happened and bethany was lying dead we click some pictures we're not able to move the body much because you know it was impossible for just one guy uh or person you know and then we also get something important which is the murder weapon you know a knife so murderer forgot this is the 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 weapon this time and we take this and we come outside we see the whole place is burning up pretty bad now and we see that tristan and nick have made it down the stairs but when we try to go you know something like a pillar from the top rooftop it falls down and blocks our path and fire so we get to jump into tristan arm so that was a pretty amazing scene cuz um you know tristan got to be really strong to catch uh, you know our main character got to say and then we sort of go outside and we're all safe But before leaving the room at first we made this promise to Bethany that we will find the killer and will put Bethany to justice. But then you go outside, we see the fire team is coming up and the whole place is burning up and all the evidence, the dead body, everything that was inside, everything is gone. But we still have the knife, but you know, it's still something we're so close to catching the killer, but still so far. And we still don't know what Nick was doing inside. So that's still a mystery to me. I don't know what to think of him to be honest because he was on suspect list too. So also we see a lot of chemistry between Tristan and a main character. And again, you get to instigate it if you choose certain choices or you can just, you know, keep it down a little bit. So it's totally up to the reader. It's to your main up to your main character what do you want to do, you know? So that's 
pretty much an amazing choice in a single love interest book and i like the chemistry the build up of the relationship between the main character and tristan it's unlike anything i've seen any other single love interest books after a long 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 time so i'm very much liking it and we end up you know tristan and our main character having a conversation what's going to happen whether sanja's kiss is still going to be kept quiet by the media flaring this up the media is there in of course and then we say that we're all going to be front page headline tomorrow and that's where it ends when you say that we're all going to be front page headline and um that's the chapter's end well what's going to happen in the next chapter we don't know um it's quite interesting that they didn't leave us on a on any particular cliffhanger but just on that so yep that's quite an interesting way to end the chapter with chapter 5 amazing let me know in the comments below your choices your thoughts your opinions and I'll see you in the next video till then peace out